Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back. Today, I want to talk about what to do if you begged and pleaded your ex to come back or to not break up with you. If you're listening to this, it means that obviously it didn't work. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be back together and you're either in no contact or you're trying to do no contact and you keep breaking it. So what can you do if you begged and pleaded? Well, I'm about to tell you, but first I want to remind you to be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you don't miss out on future videos. And while you're at it, tap the bell icon so you'll be notified when a new video is up. So I actually have a comment here, a long comment from someone who actually did beg and plead. So let's see what she did. Let's see what happened with her. She starts off with Lucia, <laughs> no contact works. You have no idea how grateful I am to have come across your channel. This was a same sex relationship and we weren't really dating. We were just close friends and had a thing for each other. And she broke up with me telling me that she wasn't going to respond to any of my texts anymore. So I'm not sure how she could break up with you. You guys weren't together, but I understand. <laughs> Okay, so I begged and pleaded for two months. Damn, two months. <laughs> but then I saw your videos and went into no contact. Well, thank God for that. I worked on myself during no contact and I got a text. Hey, can we talk on the 45th day? Boom, right on time, right on schedule. I didn't respond right away. I waited 19 hours. And then she sent another text with three question marks. Exactly. That's why I say when your ex contacts you, if they don't say something significant, you don't respond because we want to see how much effort they're going to try to put into getting back with you. If they're going to put any effort at all, we want to know what their interest level is. And if you respond to any old text, then you don't know. And so if you don't, they will show their colors. They will reveal their cards soon enough. And indeed, by sending a second text, she did show that she was interested. However, again, this girl did not respond. Good for her. <laughs> and she continues and says, then she DM'd me on Instagram saying, can you please text me back on Snap? After 41 minutes, everyone's so precise with the times, 41 minutes. <laughs> I responded, like you said, about what? And she sent me a whole paragraph. Okay, now before I read this paragraph, so notice what she did. This is what happens when you follow what I say to the T. There's a reason that I tell you to do certain things and to not do certain things. I'm not just making th these things up off the top of my head. I'm not just saying, eh, I don't know, yeah, just wait a couple of days and we'll, no, no. <laughs> I know what's up, in case you hadn't noticed. So she did exactly what I say in my videos and it worked. And look at the paragraph that her ex wrote. She wrote, I'll just come straight out with it. I like you and that scares me. I tried to push your weight because I was scared of anything happening. Obviously you don't care about this anymore, but I want to tell you. Every time you texted me, it took everything I had not to text you back and every time you Texted, I almost texted back. Honestly, I'm still scared, but I can't get you out of my head. You don't understand how hard it is for me to even say any of this. Even right now, I just want another chance. If I screw up again, I understand, but I just want another chance. If something happens later on down the road, then it happens, but I don't want to lose you. I understand I've been acting like a bitch to you, but I have all these feelings that I didn't know, didn't I didn't want to have, and I didn't know what to do, and so I did the only thing I knew. I pushed you away, and trust me, I regret that. But I just want another chance. Can I have another chance? Wow. Talk about saying something significant. I mean, that <laughs> that is very, very, very significant. But see, that's what happens. That's the power of no contact. Begging and pleading is not going to get your ex back. She finally stopped doing it, went into no contact, and the truth came out. 
no contact brings the truth out because you look at people's actions, not at people's words. And so she says, I waited another 30 minutes and said, thanks for your text, but that's a lot to think about. Again, she's doing what I told her to do to a T. I love it. Because I said, you don't just take your ex back. You don't make it that easy. It's like, uh, we'll see. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. And um, she said, uh, please talk to me. And after five minutes, I said, I got to go. And she said, at least think about it, please. And I texted, okay. I'm not planning on initiating anything because she has to put effort in since she ruined this relationship. But I just want to thank you for everything that you are your gods in. You're welcome. So that is what you need to do if you begged and pleaded. You have to show them that you're not going to chase them. Yes, obviously begging and pleading is not a good thing to do. It's a lot better to just leave them alone. And actually, if she hadn't begged and pleaded for two months, they would probably already be back together. See, that's also the problem with continuing to beg and plead is that you're actually delaying getting back together. You're doing it because you think it's going to uh, bring you guys back together, but actually you're just delaying the time when you'll be getting back together. And so that's why you want to go into no contact immediately, into strict no contact, especially if you begged and pleaded. So listen to my video about the rules of no contact and do what I say there, meaning get their phone, uh, get their number out of your phone. Do not contact them, obviously. Do not respond to insignificant texts, etc., etc. There's a whole recording on what to do in no contact. And you got to do everything to a T like this girl did. And you too will most likely hear from your ex. All right. So if you're trying to get your ex back and you want some help with that, you can contact me about coaching at theartoflove.net. The direct link is below. If you are listening on YouTube, remember to subscribe and also if you found this helpful to like and share. If you're listening on iTunes, I would appreciate if you would rate and review the podcast. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.